My name is Carmen Cameron. I'm a singer, songwriter, and aspiring uh, executive producer from Baltimore, Maryland. I grew up um, on the west side of Baltimore, Baltimore and Hilton Street, in the hood, that Mr. Village. <laughs> And then uh, for, for half of my childhood, and then I moved to East Baltimore. Well, I grew up listening to gospel. My mother played it a lot. She sang it a lot. She had a degree in music, so she was always involved in church because that was her outlet. I didn't really start singing until high school, but I grew up playing a lot of instruments. Prince and Vanity. And I know that's kind of edgy for a kid, but it was something about that sound that Prince produced that it always grabbed me no matter who was singing it. It's like I just gravitated to that 80s kind of synthesized, I don't even know what to you know, call it, but I just, it just touched my soul. Beyonce, I have a lot of respect for Beyonce because I know that what she does takes a lot of work. She makes everything look so easy, but that girl is a machine. You know, she's amazing at what she does. So no matter what anyone says about, oh, she can't sing like this or that, try to step into her stilettos and understand how much work she puts into her craft, and then you will respect her. So Beyonce is definitely one of the people at the top of my list. And then there are underground people that I love, like um, Shantae Khan is one of my favorite uh, singers. Um, there's a guy named LaRoyal. He's really good. He's from here. I've been listening to his EP a lot. He's really dope. Um, there's a guy named Freedom Amani. He's from here. He's really dope. There's a guy named Aaron Camper. He's from Maryland. He's really dope. So um, those are some of my favorites off the top of my head. When I was in my peak, there was nothing better than honesty. Because we are all humans. We all have the same emotions. We all go through the same thing. So if you're in a place where you can channel your emotions and you can be honest with yourself, and you couple that with a little bit of poetry, it's like it flows, you know? So it, it just as long as I'm in an honest state of mind and an open state of mind. I, when I first moved to New York, at first it was like, you know, I would be there for three, four months. I would come home. And every time I came home, somebody knew was dead. Somebody knew had been hurt. Somebody knew had been kidnapped. Somebody knew had been locked up. And I'm just like, just knowing the struggle that we came from and we kind of were given this like narrow vision of what we could become. When I got a break from Baltimore and I realized what was out here, um, I just had to go hard to make sure I never had to settle had to settle, so I pretended that home didn't exist, and that was my motivation. Like, you know where you're from, you know where you want to get. You have to act like there is no money in the bank, there is no mother to come home to, there is no family and friends, and none of that exists. You, it's just sink or swim. And that's how I use motivation from Baltimore, because I really didn't sit down and write songs about what I saw on my block. You know what I'm saying? I do, I do have one song about walking through city life, but that's just, that's just based on a whole bunch of experiences from being a bunch of different places. But this place and just seeing what it can do, I lost, some of my, I lost one of my very best friends, you know, to the drug game and money and jealousy. And just seeing, seeing the type of place Baltimore can be on the dark side made me want to strive for more. It's this, uh, this song called Another Place. And it talks about, this is actually the song I was just telling you about. It talks about um, just leaving out of your front door, you're on your way somewhere. And you see all of these different things happening around you. And you, you look into the people's eyes because you've experienced pain. You can see their pain. So you just wonder about their stories. Like what's happened? What they've been through? So, and it's called Another Place because it's talking about going through things to get somewhere else. I am a dynamic, determined, tenacious female who wants to use all of her experiences to open the doors and build bridges to places that we thought we couldn't get and beyond.